every bathroom needs a mirror. You think about it, even, you know, back in the days of the Romans, they would polish metal and make a mirror out of it. So they had something to look at themselves in. So in building this outhouse that I'm doing, this off-grid bathroom out in the, that I'm putting out on our homestead that's 300 miles from anything, I figured, you know, if it's, it's a Wild West theme. I've got to have a, a mirror that's going to fit that. I found this mirror for like $4 at a, at a second-hand store, and so I bought it, but it's got a few issues. It's got a few things to like, but it's got a few issues. Let's take a look at it. Hi, I'm Zach Ward. Welcome to Keeper of the Mountain. Why don't you come on in and let's watch a video together. Come on, what are you waiting for? Okay, the nice thing is it's got a nice beveled edge. Look at that. Beveled edges are awesome. Another thing it's got, it's a problem. I mean, it's, it's definitely a mirror, but it's got holes in itself. It's it's got scuffing. It's the the actual mirror stuff in the back is in pretty bad shape. So I got to fix that. But the other problem I have is the is the frame. Although I like the shape of the frame and everything, it's just way too nice. It doesn't look antique at all. It looks like something somebody built, you know, in a factory. Uh, everything's too perfect. It just doesn't fit the theme, so we're going to have to fix that. Although, interestingly, on the back, it does kind of look whitewashed, like whitewashed oak. So it was probably, when it was first made, back in the 80s most likely, it was whitewashed oak. It was made to look like whitewashed oak. And then somebody didn't like that, so they sanded it down and uh, just stained it natural. But I'm going to sand it down and do it again. But first, let's take a look at the mirror, what we got to do with that. Okay, what we've got here on the back is somebody just tried to hold it in with these little pieces of wood and little tiny brads, and they're just falling off. I mean, I can pull them off with my fingers. However, I'm going to be very careful and pull them off with a claw hammer because I don't want to break the glass. I don't really care about the little pieces of wood. But I'm being real gentle because, okay, I got that end of that out. I can lift the bottom of this, I'll slide it down. And here I go, I have the glass. So to get this old stuff off, I'm going to use a razor blade and I'm just going to start scraping it. It's not easy to scrape off, it's going to take a while. Alright, now that it's completely clean, I'm going to clean both sides of it, there's no residue left on it, because you see, once I scraped as much as I could off, there was still some silver oxide left on there. And I had to take liquid drain cleaner and soak it on the back and then it would wash right off, it was really nice. But, I mean, they also make a chemical for that, but I had drain cleaner and I knew drain cleaner would work, so that's what I used. So now, since this is beveled glass, which means it's got a little beveled edge on it, I have laid it on top of these blocks on the bench. And I'm going to tape this side of it with some painter's tape, simply because what we're going to do next, I don't want to get on the front of the mirror at all. We have the edges covered, we flip it up the other way, and we make a final dusting to make sure there's nothing on here and it looks like there is. A shop rag and I'm totally certain there's nothing on here because there's no going back. Once you spray it, it's sprayed. You're not going to buff it out. Now we take our Krylon looking glass paint. Now supposedly this stuff once you spray it on, it looks gray on the one side, but it looks like a mirror on the other. So let's find out how well it works. As you can see, the little little hazy marks right there. That's the part that isn't dry. It's the shiny parts where it's dry. And what you got to do in between each coat is you got to let it dry. And you can see as we're talking, 
that it dries really fast because those hazy areas are starting to go away right before your very eyes. It's pretty interesting paint. I've never painted with something that dried quite so quickly. But I'm supposed to put on five thin coats and that's number three right there. It's looking a lot like a mirror on this side. I'm wondering what the other side looks like. It'll be interesting to see the results. But as you can see, it's just about dry enough for another coat. Just while we've been sitting here talking for just about 45 seconds. Well, there you go. Looks like a mirror. Yep. It's not as good as a regular mirror. I mean, you look at this mirror, and then you look at this mirror. Yeah, I think the other, the old style mirrors are much better than these painted on ones. But you know what, it's going to work because this is just for looks anyway, so. You know what I think, if you're going to get a mirror, get a mirror. This paint is, yeah, you know, it's shiny, you can see your face, but it's a little dark. And unless you're prepared to do this in hospital-like conditions, it's not going to look that good. And you're still not going to get that good. So. Best thing to do is go out and buy a new mirror. Find the frame you like, put a new mirror in it, or just deal with what you get, or buy it how you want it, because that spray stuff, not that great. But it's gonna work for what I'm doing. So let's get the rest of this mirror put together. Well, here we have the frame the mirror goes in. It's kind of a neat little frame, pretty simple. It's gonna be hanging in a, in, in, uh, you know, a rustic place, and this isn't nearly rustic enough for me. This is just like a clear glaze over the bald wood. So I'm just gonna take and sand it off. I'm gonna use my quarter sheet sander here, and I'm just gonna buzz off the, the, the uh, glaze. Okay, I've dusted this off, and I'm just gonna play around with some paint, because I don't know really what I want, so. Kind of a really, really dark green. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. It all depends on what you want you, it to look like. And, and every one turns out a little different. I don't really want to get too much going on here. Well, let's let that dry and see what that looks like. And then we'll do something else with another color. Okay, so this putrid green color is done, so let's try for a lighter color. Let's go for, I have a can of white left over. I'm just using leftover colors from other projects. And this is a can of white. So we'll just do the same thing with can of white. Now we'll take this scratch coat of paint and we'll let it dry. Maybe we'll put one more color on. And one more color. Let's do a brown this time. So we did a really dark green, we did a white, and now we're doing a brown. I'm kind of curious how this is going to turn out. I hope you are too. And there we go, three colors. You can hardly see the green, but that'll change. There's also some white and there's some brown on there. And so let's let that dry completely. I'm going to let it sit overnight, then we'll hit it with some sandpaper and see what comes up. I think that's going to look pretty good. Have to put the mirror in it and see what happens. Now that's a mirror that's going to look really nice in the outhouse or in the off-grid bathroom. Tell me what you think about this in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you come back later and watch another one soon.